Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so welcome to Lovely News Network. So this story is just downright atrocious, okay? And it's coming from atrocious ass Arizona. A lot of you guys have been wanting me to cover this. This is about a woman, she's been a vegetable for like the past 10 years. She had a drowning accident when she was 12 years old and now she's about 22 years old. And this past December, right before the new year, this woman who has not really moved, hasn't talked, hasn't done anything in 10 years, literally just gave birth to a baby. So this entire situation is extremely disturbing. I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys this news clip. Go ahead and check this out. What happened inside the Hacienda Skilled Nursing Facility in Phoenix? A woman who has been in a vegetative state at the facility for at least 14 years after a near drowning incident, giving birth to a baby Saturday. But nobody knows who did this to her. When you first heard about what happened, what went through your mind? How could it happen? and just anger and sadness sick to my stomach. This woman, familiar with what happened, has asked us to conceal her identity and voice. She says employees could not believe what was unfolding inside the victim's room. And the staff were aware that she was pregnant until she was uh, pretty much giving birth. How were they alerted to the fact that she was going into labor? From, from what I've been told, she was moaning. Um, and they didn't know what was wrong with her. There was a nurse that was there, um, and from what I heard, she's the one that delivered the baby. But what do we know about the baby? From what I, what I know, um, the baby is alive, the baby is healthy. Adult Protective Services tells us, after hearing the allegations, they immediately dispatched a team to conduct health and safety checks on all members living in the facility. And the Arizona Department of Health says they are actively working with local law enforcement in their criminal investigation. But right now, no suspects have been named. And our source says this patient required round-the-clock care, and many would have had access to her room. So those patients suck quite a few people in just a day right. time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there could be a lot of possibilities as to who did this. Right. She also says the facility has changed protocol this week. Um, I was told that as of now, um, they, uh, if a male staff needs to enter a female room, that they need to bring in a female employee with them. And as far as you're aware, that is a new policy. Yes. So many questions as to how something like this could have happened. But our source says this woman was raped in the most vulnerable state. So she had no way to defend herself in this sort of situation? None whatsoever. Mm -mm. And not even able to communicate the fact that she was pregnant. All right, so you guys just watched that disturbing news clip. So now everything's been updated. And as of today, they're saying that the CEO of Hacienda Healthcare, he just resigned, okay? So instead of him facing this issue head on, trying to figure out who impregnated this woman, he's basically resigning. Y'all go ahead and watch this updated news clip. Check this Emma, out. A dry state. Now to Arizona, where the CEO of a private nursing home in Phoenix has resigned after a woman in a vegetative state was sexually assaulted and then later gave birth to a child. Brianna Whitney from our Phoenix affiliate KPHO has the very latest. After nearly three decades of leading Hacienda Healthcare, CEO Bill Timmons resigning amidst the investigation into how a 29 year old Native American woman living in a years long vegetative state was impregnated at the facility with no one saying anything. We've now learned she was raped several times. My heart stops. I think my heart stopped when I heard the news from my daughter. I was just horrified. I'm going, no, not Hacienda. This woman worked in a management position at Hacienda for over a decade and says she will never forget what Bill Timmons said in a closed door meeting with the leadership team. What did you witness in 1998? Oh, um, we had a manager's meeting and it was brought up that there had been an incident. She says female nurses were standing around a nonverbal male patient's bed talking inappropriately about his genitalia. The poor guy was just laying there. He couldn't communicate. He couldn't say anything. He couldn't defend himself. You know, we were talking about reporting it to CPS and Bill Timmons slammed his fist on the table and said, no, no one is going to report this. 
What did you think when you said that? I was horrified. By law, we are supposed to report things like that. Were you scared? I was scared. Bill Timmons had a, a temper, and we knew not to mess with that temper because people got fired. Yeah. Did you watch people get fired? I saw people disappear and never come back. She says not one person reported that incident solely out of fear and believes other abuse has gone on throughout the years. But a woman impregnated with nobody speaking up while Timmons was CEO, she says that is inexcusable. But do you think in some way Bill Timmons is at fault here for what happened? I think he let things happen and didn't do anything about it, didn't let people do their job. Just, yeah, I kind of do. The Phoenix Police Department has opened an investigation into how. All right, you guys just saw that news clip. And in my personal opinion, before his ass bounces out of the country, they need to DNA test him, okay? The fact that there's this woman, this anonymous woman speaking up about how he abused people 10 years ago, and now all of a sudden he's resigning after this scandal, I think his DNA needs to be tested. And not only his DNA, but every male that has worked in that facility for the past year, their DNA needs to be tested as well, okay? And what I don't understand is this is really gross negligence. How does a woman carry a child for nine months and nobody has any idea? Were they not bathing her? Were they not turning her around? Because you're not supposed to just lay on your back because you can get bed sores and everything else. They're supposed to be turning them from side to side every few hours. So was she not being turned? Was no one bathing her? You know, I don't know if people who are vegetables, I don't know if they get periods or not. I'm not sure. But it's like, you know, if she was getting periods, did it, did it stop? It doesn't make any sense. I refuse to believe that nobody knew that this woman was pregnant until she gave birth. And the sad part is they're saying that the baby's a healthy baby boy. They need to DNA test that baby and figure out who the father is. And you know, who's supposed to take care of this child? You know, everybody's like, the baby's healthy, but who's supposed to take care of this child? You know, hopefully the, the parents of this young girl who's been taking care of her all these years can, you know, now take care of this child. But imagine that burden. They weren't expecting grandchildren from this woman, and now she's given birth, and now they're going to have to take care of this child possibly, or possibly the child may end up in, you know, in foster care, be adopted. This entire situation is just really sickening, and it just goes to show you that you just don't know what's going on in some of these healthcare facilities. You know, we've been brainwashed that, you know, once our parents get older, we just drop them off in a home, and then, you know, a nurse and, you know, caring, loving people will take care of them. Well, that's not always the case, you know. Unfortunately, not everybody who works in a nursing home is caring and loving. After all, that's not their parents. So I always say this, if you can afford to take care of your parents and take care of your loved ones, you know, keep them home with you as opposed to, you know, just dropping them off in a nursing home and calling it a day. You know, this entire situation is just really disturbing. You know, the fact that this woman, you know, it's bad enough that she would never be the same. You know, she basically stopped growing at the age of 12. You know, she doesn't know anything around her. She doesn't really have too much of a consciousness. You know, she may be able to feel certain things or cry or moan, but that's no life. And now she's a mother. And it just shows you how sick that person is that you're having sex with somebody who's in a vegetable state. That doesn't make any sense. You know, that's almost like having sex with a dead person. I mean, this kind of reminds me of necrophilia. You know what I'm saying? Even though, yeah, she's not technically dead, but she's not technically, you know, alive and well either. You know, you know, this is just really sad. And they could do this to her. Who's to say that they're not abusing other people in that facility? She happened to get pregnant. But imagine if she didn't get pregnant, how long has this been going on? And are other people in the same position as her, are they being sexually molested? Are these men, you know, that might be in the same position as her being molested and being, you know, tampered with and messed with and everything else? That's just really, really sickening. Whoever did this, they need to be caught and apprehended right away. Thanks for choosing ABC 15 at 5. I'm Katie Rammel. And I'm Steve Irvin. Our top story, that nightmare inside a Valley Healthcare facility. ABC 15 is committed to bringing you every brand new development with this shocking story. So here's the latest on the investigation. Phoenix police are currently testing those DNA samples from workers at Hacienda Healthcare. It's unclear who all had to submit a test. Police will only tell us, quote, it's a lot of people. In the past week, families with children inside Hacienda say they've noticed an increase in police presence. Police say that's because the facility is getting threats. Here's ABC 15's Justin Pizarra. 
Phoenix police squads parked in plain sight outside Hacienda Healthcare, multiple units at times seen in the parking lot. There have been threats to the facility. I don't know that they've had any specific threats to any individuals. The threats coming as the facility is making national news after a female patient in a vegetative state gave birth to a baby boy. Through a court order, police have collected DNA samples for men working at the facility. Karina has a child in Hacienda. They have a lot more uh, security. There's cops that are here all the time now, 24-7. They patrol the, the parking lot. They walk the halls. They also have hall monitors. Police not elaborating on how the threats are coming in or what type, but they are taking precautions. Any location that is receiving threats, the officers would be there. In Phoenix, Justin Pizarra, ABC 15, Anyways, Arizona. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing story. Once again, coming from atrocious ass Arizona. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.